Hey, how are y'all doing? Guess what? Today is what? Elevate Monday. And I'm Kawana Creates here to serve you with another lovely poem written from yours truly. I want to bless you all, okay? Now, I want to tell you why I want to bless you with this specific poem today. I know you're like, Kawana, when are you going to do something new? But you know what? As long as the Lord has been placing it in my heart for me to share these poems, I'm going to do just that. Because sometimes it's 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 needed, you know? It's beyond the poem. It's it's the anointing behind the poem. It's the, the testimony behind it. You know, the Word of God says that we are overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. And a lot of things that I share with you all are parts of my testimony from things that I've been, uh, have experienced or, or walked through from my past, you know. And, um, hey, this past Sunday, my, my bishop, Bishop Courtney Macbeth, Yes, from Calvary Revival Church, okay? He came forth with an awesome word, and that word was sharp. It was sharp. It was sharp, y'all. It was potent. It was a potent word. And um, the basis of what he was talking about was knowing your worth. I mean, I could go in detail about a lot of it. Hey, I asked you to go on the website. You know, we have an app. Go check out the app, CRC app, and download it so, to your phone so that you can check out the messages from this past Sunday and, and past Sundays and, and um, even hear words from uh, other encouraging words. So... It also, one more thing that I want to share with you. He, he stated to us that your your value is based on who is inside of you and who, what it was placed inside of you. Who and who was that? That who is that that's inside of us? Jesus. Who is the one that gave it all up for us? Jesus. Come on, don't get. I I even came up with another poem thinking about that word right there. Jesus. Matter of fact, that's on the list. But Jesus, he gave it all up for us. It was There's nothing we could do. There's no, there's, there's no tears we could shed. There's, there's no, no, no uh, special phrases we can say that could take the place of the grace of God and what, how he allowed his son Jesus to die for us. You know what I'm saying? Our value comes solely from Jesus, okay? It does not come from this world. It does not come from the things of this world. It does not come from the status quo of who you think you are. It doesn't come from social media and all the other blah, blah, blah. It comes from Jesus, okay? So with that being said, hey, 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 I was inspired um, from Sunday when I heard my bishop up there ministering and sharing the word and what God was doing inside of me, he reminded me of a poem that I had written over a year and a half ago. And I'm so I'm sharing it with you all right now because God was like, Kawana, I need you to pull that poem out. So I pulled the poem out, did what I had to do. And it was a little, it was a little dusty. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Anyways, I added some more things to it that the Lord led me to do. And I'll share it with y'all tonight. The poem is entitled, Free Me From Myself. Can you dig it? Okay. Free me from myself. Free me from the prison I'm in. Not a physical prison with aged old, uh, old bars and floors, but the prison with old mindsets, rehearsed memories played over and over and over again, telling me I can't do this and I will never achieve that. This prison has held me captive so long. It has taken over me. Free me from this mess I'm in. I need to be set free. My feet are glued to the ground. I feel like I'm in quicksand and I'm screaming from the top of my voice, help! But no one hears me. Why? Because my cry is within. My mouth is shut tight. But my eyes are filled with the teardrops. Zillions of words are flowing from each drop. 
Someone free me from this mess I'm in. I'm tired of falling in the same trap. When will I learn that everyone can't have my energy? Everyone can't have me. When will I learn that I can't make everyone go on the destiny that God has given me? No, everyone can't go. Free me, God, from this mess I'm in. I'm sitting in my own filth. I feel so weighed down. Look at the mess I'm in. Don't you see how torn I am, God, from within? Please, come free me from myself. Come tear down these walls that I feel, I feel like they're caving in on me. Please free me from myself. I can't bear the pain I'm in. They tell me the prison is worse than this. But I can't tell. I feel like I'm in quicksand and my mind is sinking deep, deep, deep within. Yo, this migraine is like an aged jail cell. Bars that are saying, no, we can't let you go. You will stay with us until the end. I'm screaming, free me from the chains I'm in. God, can't you see? This is truly not the real me. I want to be free. I can't take this mess anymore. Please come set me free so I can fly like the eagle that is emerging into the sky. So I can fly so, so, so high above all this crazy mess inside. Yes, yes this mess inside. And then I heard a still voice, a soft reply. My child, you are free. I freed you over 2000 years ago, but you see, it takes stages. It takes you facing the old phases. It takes you receiving and then it takes you believing. Believing I will never leave you nor forsake you. Believing my grace is just for you. Believing your value comes only from me, you see. Believing in me and not in he. I just freed you from yourself again. Just now. Don't you know when I speak the wind, the rain, the world has to obey my every command, I say, yes, I just freed you just now. So obey. Hey, what y'all think? What y'all think? I don't even care what you think. How about that right there was from the Lord? Come on now. God has freed you. And sometimes it takes stages. Sometimes you have to go through phases, but he has freed you. Don't ever forget that. He freed you over 2000 years ago. Excuse me. When his son Jesus died on the cross for your sins, for my sins, for our sins. It's by God's grace that we are here today. Not, not, not what you did. Not what you're doing. Not your works. Hey, it has nothing to do with works. And that's what Bishop was talking about yesterday. It ain't about works. It's not about how many prayers you pray. It's not about how many to-do lists you check off. It's by God's grace and mercy. And when I meant at the end, obey, just, just obey. Just, just, just walk it out. Just, just allow his words to, to love on you, to become a part of you. Embrace God because he loves us. There's nothing you could do. There's hell or high water, whether you make your bed in heaven or hell. The word of God said he'll always be there. So I just encourage you all to be encouraged, to be elevated. In God, let him elevate you to that next level where you're supposed to be. 
Let him change your life around for his glory. Hey, let him pull you up. I said it before, out of the merry clay and place you on a new solid rock foundation. You looking at a miracle. You looking at a stone cold miracle. Yes, Kiwana Brick House. Hey. By the grace of God that I'm standing here today. By the grace of God that I'm I'm here, right here in front of you all in my right, right state of mind, not behind no real jail cell, didn't kill nobody, okay? Uh, didn't commit suicide, okay? Um, I, um, amongst a lot of other things. But God, but God. But God, I could be out on the streets doing some crazy mess. But God, he loves me that much. Guess what? And that same God that loves me loves you that much. Loves you with your crazy self, with all your hangups, with all your issues, with all your ailments, with all your problems. He loves you just like he loves me. So I tell you today, I encourage you today, pick up your head. Let the Lord be the lifter of your head. Be encouraged, okay? Because it's by his grace, his grace alone. You all be blessed, be encouraged. I love you all. I'm always praying for you all. And I look forward to seeing you all on Wednesday, okay? Wednesday for Inspire Day. God bless you and have a wonderful evening.